Sorry, what was I saying? What is this? Ah, this one's a killer. This is an AM FM radio. item no tape no CD no place to plug in your iPod or um, other like musical playing devices like your mp3 player yeah like one of those things anyway I just use my phone oh man luckily I got my drill because there's screws in this one Oh, this one's full of goodies. Why isn't this coming apart? Where are my wire cutters? Well, a pair of end cutters will do. These are called end cutters because they cut down real low to the end of things. Um, it's good for clipping your fingernails. And if you spend good money on a good pair of these, these ones are cheap. These ones are like $7, but it'll still cut your fingernails if you need them to. So, if you need them to cut copper wire, they should be able to cut copper wire. Huh. Whoops. I like that most electronics are put together with as few screws as possible. There's even less screws these days than there used to be. I know because I've taken the old stuff apart too. Look at this. There's a 9 volt battery in here. Oh, I remember this brand of batteries. Whatever happened to them? The classic batteries. Where's the rest of this thing? This is part of it. Aha! Another speaker! Another speaker. Let's see if we can come out with another way to remove the magnet from a speaker. Channel locks! Precaution. Just gonna do it. Just gonna do it, man. There you go. You just pull them off. You really don't need any fancy tools for this job. I like wearing gloves because they make me feel stronger. Hey, that'll go in your tin bin. And there's another magnet for the block. Yes, it's stuck again. All right, what else is in here? This looks funny. Don't see too many of these. It's for transferring a ground. Um. This is what the board looks like on one side. This is what it looks like on the other side. Okay? It's so that when the screw goes in, the ground is then attached to the other screw. And then it shares a common ground. Uh, I think it's a kind of neat way to do it, but... Like, this is even less than low grade. I don't even know what that's called. But it's going in the low grade bucket, because they're not going to see this. Let's see. What other goodies? Let's see, you got some wire here. Electronic wire clippings. There's plastic. Recycling. Did you know you can actually recycle plastic? It's worth uh, something like 20 cents a pound for the clarified polypropylene. This is going in the bin of stuff for me to do later. There's a nice little magnet. I think. Oh, no. This is a block of iron. A little block of iron. This is actually a transformer as well. This is an old way to do it. So this little block of iron basically has two copper windings on it. One would be like the primary and one would be the secondary winding. The secondary winding would have a different voltage as the first one, but it would transfer through the iron to the second secondary winding and uh, you would get a different voltage without putting a transformer in. But that is a transformer. Uh, so if you ever see one of these, this is the same as a transformer. It's just this is what they used to do before CBMs came around. Uh, I didn't realize that it 
this radio was that old. Anyway, that's more junk. Baby Humboldt. And what's this? Another Loki Raid motor. 